A pleasant good evening to each and every one of you in Georgetown, Guyana. Friends all, this year is about to be over. Today is the 30th of December. One more day to go. Many of you may live to see it, many of you may not. Newborn will enter the world. But same as our political arena in Guyana, the two major parties, PPPC, which is the beginning of Guyana history, and APNU, which is a combination of PNC, WP, Justice for All, and many more. But one will ask the question, what did Guyana accomplish since they get the so-called independent? Tell me, you the Indian who support Indians because of your race, what have you accomplished? More ignorance? more corruption, more obstruction to justice. Now, I will break it down in time to come. And I ask this question over and over. A country with so much natural resource, so wealthy, but yet the people are not educated enough to understand that their leaders have betrayed them and sell them out. And you, the black man and woman, with the PNC now is up now, what have you accomplished? Because you vote race also. Tell me, you don't mind what happened to your grandchildren and your children? All because I am a black person, I must put a black leader, and you're hungry. Your daughters or granddaughters become hoes. Your sons become killers, thieves. That's what you ask for? I have seen Guyana to be something different. A country with so much resources, no citizen of that country should be purchasing land. Land should be given free to every citizen once you meet adult age and you're ready to start life, which means marriage, get your wife and settle down. I believe in a Guyana that Every citizen should have had a home by now for 54 years. But instead of you have that, you have broken up homes. You have major differences between the two major races, the Indian and the Blacks. You have politicians who are lying you to you all the time. Well, I will say, your mother and father, anything over 50, 55, 60, or 45, could be considered illiterate to the political scene. But you, the younger generation, <coughs> you have no future if you do not stand up and defend yourself. I am happy to know that there's a lot of political party arising with younger brain, doctors, lawyers, who are coming together to form political party. I think it is a plus in the right direction. But it is suicidal also if you all do not mobilize yourself properly and prepare to fight because the two major parties will not give up so easy because for many of years they've been living on the back of you, the poor, ignorant, stupid people. You racial fools that allow your race to ride on your judgment while they are getting rich and living luxurious, you and your wife and your children are suffering wondering where the next meal coming from. If it was not for Canada, America and elsewhere, many of you would have committed suicide. I call upon you, the younger generation, not to listen to these old politicians. I am happy to know that a lot of young politicians are coming together. All you parties should come together We're under the heading of one and mobilize yourself as fast as possible and make up your mind that when you are together it is one for all and all for one which means if your brother is a soldier or a police and send to kill you beat you then you have to make up your mind to do the same if they are going to go to it in that way because these men who are ruling Guyana and those corrupt women they are the tools of the devil. They are wicked, treacherous, and corrupt to the core. When Apnu was to go into power, 
I heard a lot of black people says this time the PPP member will get jail. I know it was only a word in the wilderness. Did any one of them get jail? All the crime you heard they was accused for. Are they in prison? But the police will arrest you. Lucky I beat you in prison because corrupt lawyers, judges, and ministers in government tell them to do so, and nobody do nothing. Well, I have a message to the 65 of them. Things has changed. Guyana become very close with an incident that could have lost and speak another language. But God maybe had mercy upon the country. Because sometimes when you lose your family, there is nothing more to lose but to destroy everything and you don't care what happened. And I am talking about the corrupt politicians, judges, lawyers and corrupt businessmen. Your days are number and the time is coming. You have an opportunity to change. While you, the young people, have a right to get up and take the future into your hands. Do not break the law by attacking innocent people. Do not use no sort of measure to destable anyone. But freedom and democracy have a price to pay. If the opposition members attack you and the police cannot give you justice, you must take it then. But allow them to start first. If the ruling party, which we wouldn't even say ruling party because it's not a government, but by the guns and ignorance and, and power, they still seize power. Now I have nothing against nobody. But what amazes me, two people are fighting for a country do not belong to you. You, the African grandchildren and the Indian grandchildren. You claim Africa and India. The last African place to fall was Mandela country, South Africa. Idi Amin drove the Indian out. Mr. Mugabe drove the white man out. Mandela was the only one who says they are Africano, they are born and grew there like you. What I'm trying to tell you, all you who go to church, pick up the Bible and call upon God. I think you also stop it. Because just as how you love Africa being the black man and you're right, and you the Indian love India being the Kuliar Indian, the Amerindian need this country, followed by him is the mixed race. Why the Chinese and, in, and, and the Portuguese do not talk about mother country? Well, I call upon all the young party to come together quick, form one party to stand up against the ruling government which is happening, and the opposition. And by God's grace, if you do not win it, you're going to be in power because you will be a force to reckon with. And the Constitution must change. No man is above the law, not even the president. And if a judge breaks the law, she or he must be tried by the same law. And if convicted, the nation will decide. If a minister broke the law, the same thing will happen. And all 65 members of parliament must have a lie detector test. And most judges and a lot of the police and the army <coughs> must have a lie detector test for a lot of unsolved crime. From the attorney general right back, from then we will be able to perform and secure a true sense of democracy. Where every man will be judged according to the ability and not the color of their skin or Africa or India. So I beg of you, wake up before it is too late. And let it be known to the corrupt politician, time are coming so fast, but you're not seeing it. And whatever you do shall come back to your doorstep. Your children, children shall bear the blunt of your curse. Don't let it happen to the innocent children. Don't make Guyana go into another nation's hands. I call upon all of you, let's unite and save Guyana, and give the people land to build their home, and let we have a true democracy, and stamp out this racial nonsense. And by saying that, if you all are not going to decide what to do as a young party, I am going to tell you here tonight, 
Apu shall and will be back in power. But a lot of things will have to change. Because both parties are a lot of criminals with them. Thank you and have a good night.